Till we're close enough Beginning first with the Cover FX Anti-Age Smoothing Eye Primer, which hydrates and also soothes the eye. I'm applying this to my lids and also my under eye area. Next, going in with the LA Girl Pro Primer. This will be used as a base for the eyeshadows, and I'm just going to distribute this all over the lid. For my shadows today, I'll be using the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And the first shadow I'm going to pick up is this medium tone brown shadow called Mousse, and I'm just going to sweep this right into my crease which will also act as my transition color. Now, once I started applying this color to my crease, I noticed it was a tad bit darker than I liked. So what I decided to do was mix the color mousse and also nougat. And this I felt was a better pairing for my crease color. So I decided just to pick up a bit more of the color nougat and I'm applying this over mousse on my other eye just to even everything out. Now to give this look a little bit more dimension, I picked up this beautiful shadow called Peanut Butter which is a coppery matte shadow. Here I'm using windshield wiper motions to help build up the intensity of the shadow and also to give this look some dimension. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to use a matte cream colored shadow called Coconut Cream. Taking a clean blending brush and blending the brow bone color and that transition crease color together but I'm making sure to blend upwards. Now for the lid, I'm going to use this beautiful color called Butter Pecan and it's a shimmery champagne color. I'm just going to pack this all over the lid, making sure not to go past the lid. To help cut the crease, I'm going to use the Sigma Shader Crease E47 brush which I think is phenomenal to help create this look. And I'm just going to pick up a dark matte brown shadow. This one is called Hot Fudge. And I'm just going to slightly and slowly start cutting the crease. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the tip of the brush just kind of work its way right in the crease area. And also the side of the brush where I applied the shadow is going to really help define the crease area. But here I'm going for more of a softer cut crease. So I really want to make sure that I'm holding the brush at an angle so that it helps diffuse the edges so it's not really, really harsh and I'm just kind of speeding it up so you can see and I'm also going to flick out the ends to give it a cat eye effect. I lost a little bit of my lid color so I'm packing more of the shadow called Butter Pecan but making sure to stay underneath that defined crease area. Now I'm going to go and line my eyes and I'm going to create a winged liner and then right where my wing stops, I'm going to go back with some of that hot fudge and define the crease a bit more. And I'm just going to keep repeating these steps, this specific step until I get the desired effect. Going back to my blending brush and blending upwards just so that my brow bone color and also the transition color blend seamlessly together. Now I'm going to also tight line my eyes with a black liner pencil. Curl my lashes and apply generous coats of mascara. Here I'm only applying it to my top lashes. And then applying my false lashes from Esquito. These are in the style Lash Lorette which are one of my favorites. And then going back with my black liner just to cover up the band. To keep my makeup in place, I'm going to use the Cover Effects Mattifying Face Primer and I'm just going to apply this right into my T-zone to also help minimize the appearance of my pores. Here I'm also going to use the Cover Effects Illuminating Primer which because I have oily skin, I'm just going to apply this onto my cheek area where I want to look very glowy and dewy. My foundation of choice today is the Cover FX Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. I'm in the shade G40 which matches me spot on since I already lost my summer tan. And I'm going to set it with the Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. To highlight and also conceal my under eye area and also highlight my face. So I'm using the Too Faced Concealer and setting it with the Anastasia Banana Powder. To balance out my shadows, I'm going to pick up peanut butter and I'm going to sweep this along my bottom lash line. And then to give it an extra little kick, I'm going to pick up cocoa chili and sweep it right on top of peanut butter. Here I'm going to line my bottom waterline with a nude colored pencil to help open up the eyes. And then apply generous coats of mascara to my bottom lashes. To bring back dimension to the face, I'm using the Anastasia Contour Kit. And for my blush of choice, I'm going with the City Color Be Matte Blush in the shade Guava, which is a beautiful pinky corally shade, which I think complements this look perfectly. And for that highlight, Max Soft and Gentle right onto the high points of the cheeks. 
I'm lining my lips with the ColourPop lip liner in the shade Frida and to match it, the ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Frida. For a bit of shine in the center, Gerard Cosmetics Lighted Lip Gloss in the color Nude. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Please don't forget to give it a like if you did and also don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.